An off laner that pops in my mind for this kind of lineup that I know Universe is versed in. Oh, uh, look at it go! Elder Titan. And uh oh, top lane. Ooh, light strike raid! Oh, beautiful first blood. Zai was the body block in there, and that was beautiful to get it done. Zai, that's not maybe going to be the case here. Whereas Arise is chasing after Arteezy. He's in trouble. RP is going to go. Arteezy solo killed by Arise. Getting it done beautifully. He pops his level 6. He gets RP. He says, I know there's a wolf man farming somewhere. Someone needs to take care of it. That's going to be my job. He keeps on in. Gets a good he takes him down solo, and quickly you see EG converging. Uh -oh. They want revenge, and even cutting him off of the pass, it's going to be the big bag ogre looking to sweep on through. But he's taking the long road all the way over, and they're turning their attention towards Universe. He's getting ultra dived past that tier two tower, and Arteezy's now back from the dead. Your giant Laguna Blade going to fly out right there, and well, he only managed to take down the one for one trade. Regardless, Sprout blocks the path. Ace is not going to get away. Light Strike Array, though, very nice connection. And Ace now retreats up to the north, way on the enemy territory. He's not going to be getting away. One more slash, and Arteezy comes back with the kill of his own. Yeah, that's an, in the end, a two for two exchange all the way back to Arteezy dying. Some good kills going the way of Evil Genius. His crit. Oh, Universe! No, oh, up here. He's right here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Zeus, you were so close. That's a lot to hope for. Rise puts up a nice Observer Ward here behind enemy lines. Deep Ward penetration mission. PPD roams through looking for the ultimate, maybe, or just to not die, but that might be a failed plan. He's actually got a ward up, and there's the shockwave to clean them all up, so. Play this very cautiously on the side of EG, and uh, we'll fix up the RP once, gets caught out with that Yule. Zion, it's just like that, Ani. Uh, down, die, or we can follow it up with a Light Strike Array. Meanwhile, big ult coming out from the PPD. Mystic Flare, though. There's the Guardian Angel holding everybody strong. Ryze getting right click down now. There's the Repel. RP still getting canceled. There it goes. On to two. Beautifully done. The Purification as well. Skewer on to fear. They don't get any kills, though. Fire Blast now coming in, but here's Hani. He's ready to clean up as well. They bring down fear. Triple kill for Hani. The Thunder God's Wrath does nothing. Zai can't even get his death ward. Serious RNG from fear to get a nice Fire Blast off, but really the target is going to be finished. He's already up right there. Up on through and oh wow. my god. See you later, PBD. That didn't take a whole lot of <laughs> muscle. He's done. Side jumps in, Yule stepped up on the ace, like the grace about to go. Does connect, lightning bolt as well, forces away. Multi cast Laguna Blade. They throw a lot on him, but Fear gets stunned up. Now chasing him down with the stifling dagger. Hani looking for yet another kill. Phantom Strike beyond godlike spree, by the way. Buy back in from Fear. They do lose Ace again, like we talked about. Hani gets lightning bolt and Repel goes through. Light Strike Array onto Crit, but he gets his mech off. Now the Ghost Scepter coming in. Maybe not the best against Rise. Mystic Flare side getting blown up. Skewer back, RP onto two. Fear in trouble. RTZ is BKB, but look. The physical damage from Hani go to work. PPD, Death Ward back up. They've got to back away. Stifling Dagger, first hit bash, purification. They are unloading on Evil Geniuses. Thunder God's Wrath does little to nothing. Universe, one hit, two hit, three hit, triple kill for Hani. They are running over the Evil Geniuses squad. Game one looks to belong to Fnatic at this point as they take their first set of racks. Well. Yeah. Uh, they just waited for the perfect opportunity to try to get some of these out of the base. They had Orpheus still ready to go. And he, PPD already calls it, and that was a clinic put on by Fnatic. I can't help but say, like, a bit of a questionable throw together team by the side of Beetle Genius. There's a lot of magic damage, a lot of burst, but it really never got to the point where it came online. And Hani pretty much was a snowball that went absolutely out of control, ridiculous amounts of farm, and then just. You know, favorable RNG as well with the benefit of that and power.